Today I have two tips on how to increase your power with your forehand. Number one tip, hit the ball further away from your body. Increase the radius of your swing. What do I mean by radius? From my trunk, from my trunk to the tip of the racket, that's my radius, okay? The further you can hit the ball away from your body, you're going to get more racket head speed. Increase the radius, the racket's moving faster. That's one of the keys to hitting with power. Now, some players, you know, have a pretty much a straight arm, almost completely straight, like Federer, for instance. He's hitting the ball way out here. And then you have guys like Murray, Djokovic. They're hitting the ball with a slightly bent elbow. Federer's is more out, more straight. But the key is you have to remember you need from the thumb to the pinky a hand's width at least minimum. Away, your hitting elbow should be away from your torso here. You need a hand's width minimum. Otherwise you're going to be cramped. When you're cramped, you cannot swing freely. You're going to lose power. Now, one of the keys to increasing the radius of your swing is learning to swing inside out. What do I mean by that? Okay, inside out swing is this. When you turn, okay, to hit the ball, you're turned, you're set. Now, from here, Remember, the racket's going to drop down. Okay, once the racket drops down, right here now, the hand is in the inside position. Inside, I'm going to swing out, away from my body. Inside, out. It's like I'm swinging out towards the net post on the right-hand side. So if I'm here, I turn, I drop it down, inside, out, I'm swinging away. Now, when you first try this and you're swinging out away from your body, you feel like, man, I'm going to hit the ball to the side fence. But notice what happens. Inside, I'm swinging out. Right now, it seems like the ball's going to go that way. But by the time you get to the contact area, which is out in front of your lead foot, look where the racket is now. Straight ahead, down the line. So an inside out swing is going to be key. Okay, so when I initially turn, racket drops down, I'm in the inside position right here. Now, you see that net post on the right side, I'm swinging out towards that net post with my hitting hand. So the hand is going out away from my body. Right now, this is well behind my lead foot, my front foot. So right now the, hand, the racket is facing the side fence. But by the time I get to the contact zone, now it's right down the middle. So inside, Go out towards the net post and boom, at contact, you're right there down the middle. Okay, so a good drill, just turn sideways, keep your racket up high, and then you're going to just drop the ball out and you'll see how that ball goes straight down the middle and I'm swinging inside out. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. I dropped the ball out away from my body, and right there the hand is in the inside position. Now notice how the hitting hand is going out towards the net post on the right side. At contact, 
the racket straight ahead. The arm is extended. Okay, tip number two, use gravity to increase your racket head speed. Players have many different take backs for the forehand. Some players come back very high. They bring the racket back super high, which is okay. And some players just bring the racket straight back to the low point. So they might just come back to here. I've seen players on the ATP tour, Benoit Pair, and on the WTA, Kamiko Date, they just bring the racket back low. So in other words, the racket comes back to here and then they swing from there. The problem with that, you get no increase in racket head speed. Can you play world class just bringing the racket back low? Yes. Look at Benoit Paire and Kamiko Date, very good players. Top 50 in the world. But you're not, you're not getting the racket head speed you could get. So my suggestion, when you bring the racket back, bring the racket back at least at eye level eye level minimum. If you want to go higher, that's fine. You're going to get even more racket head speed. How do you get it? It's the racket drop. When you turn and you get to here and you're ready to hit the ball, the racket's going to drop. When that racket drops, by the time you get to the low point of the backswing, the racket's moving 10 to 15 miles an hour and picking up speed really fast. So that's how you can gain an extra 10 to 15 miles per hour racket head speed into the shot. So when you practice this, start with the racket up about eye level, drop the ball out in front and let that racket drop just let it fall and let it pick up that speed. So you're out here, rackets up, drop it down and let it go. Okay, notice in slow motion, the racket is up about eye level right there. Now from here, the racket's going to drop. It's dropping, dropping, dropping down. Right there, the racket is moving 10 to 15 miles an hour and picking up speed really fast. So that's number two on how to get more speed. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Any questions on, on this video, please post those or, uh, down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. All the best to your tennis success and get out there and make that forehand more powerful. Take care.